YCL stands for implantable columnar lens. Columnar is the material, a collagenized uh, material that is very similar to the, to the lens of the eye, but it is like a contact lens that goes inside the eye. And that lens design is best suitable for patients that have really high minus prescriptions that are highly nearsighted or that have a thin cornea that doesn't allow for proper or safe LASIK. It's actually approved by the FDA. It was studied really even before uh, LASIK was approved. And the uh, indications according to the FDA are nearsightedness, that's what we call myopia, from a minus three diopters up to a minus 16 diopters, which is very, very nearsighted. It's kind of found a niche, I think, in the refractive surgery world, along with LASIK for treating patients who maybe are not the best candidates for LASIK or have too high a prescription or have something funny about their cornea that would make doing LASIK uh, perhaps problematic. The ICL, here's an example, of course, an enlarged example, is placed in the eye between the iris and the natural lens, and this ICL provides really good optics. Patients that have, have ICL surgery tend to have really excellent vision, it gives very good optics, and just recently the ICL now offers correction for those that have astigmatism as well. If you get down to very, very detailed optics, the ICLs actually perform better optically than LASIK. So when you get into the higher degrees of correction with LASIK, ICLs oftentimes can be a better choice for uh, that reason as well.